I'm Vincent Koch, an old friend, an old teammate of mine. Um, in the theme of the glitz and glamour is we're in our suits, where you know you're looking fantastic by the way, mate. Um, if you had to choose best actor for an action, best actor for a comedy, and best actor for a drama, who would it be in the Springbok squad? Yeah, I think, uh, first of all, thank you. It's nice seeing you mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Um, it's easy, easy question. Um, action, Yebin, 100%. Um, I think you'll play a good role in that. Okay. Um, comedy, Trevor Yakane. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy mm -hmm. call that. Mm -hmm. But I would like to see him with collaborating with Bongi, of course. Oh, okay. um, yes, them together, a, them together is actually... It's a bomb squad yeah, thing, yeah. yeah exactly. It's wild, I know you guys. <laughs> no, um, and then drama, Vili Leroux. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? He struggled answering, answering that one. Now I know why. Actually, yeah, I eh? he, he is the he drama guy. Wanna, he just didn't he want to say the it drama himself, guy. Eh? Yeah, no, so there you go. No, is. he is. Actually, um, easy question. Getting a little bit older now. No laughing about that. But um, an incredible, incredible two years you've had, you know? Tell me some of the funny sides, the funny times you've had in the Bomb Squad. I know you guys are just cause chaos and everything, but it looks like you're a bunch of awesome, awesome characters. You know, I, I, I wish I could chill at a bar with the Bomb Squad. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually very close. Um, so of course we we started with the, the name as Bomb Squad, you know, and then um, yeah, I think with with the, the performance the boys show every weekend, um, that is one side of it. But we actually, as a team, we're actually very close. To the Bomb Squad itself, um, there's always the the, the least cap. Bomb Squad member, mm. he should bring sweets, you know, stuff like that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So um, we keep it fun, you know. But we know it, when we play a game, we've got a we've got a job to do. Um, of course, the starters to do do their job unbelievably well, and then we just have to keep on doing that, you know. Um, mm. But yeah, no, as a Bomb Squad member, it's it's always fun, especially sitting on the bench. Of course, focusing on the game mm. and thinking where we can contribute, um, but just having the guys. I mean, the, the the Bomb Squad is it's an unbelievable place to be. I'm happy to be as a member of that as well yeah. and um, yeah but we do have fun and with fun on the rugby side we we enjoy going on and just destroy what we can you <laughs> yes. know yeah. um, so in, in the work environment that's what we we see that as fun and when we get on the pitch um, and we just bring energy you know um, the, people play 50 60 minutes um, get tired and then we just have to bring the energy you know so uh, for us we we know how important our role is but as a group off the field it's, it's quite nice it's to a good be there times, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Was, was it good? Were there any um, moments that stood out for you in France where, where there was a moment where you got to actually relax? Because I was speaking to Vili and he was saying that, look, man, it's tense out there. Yeah. And I, I can only imagine, you know, especially this, this last World Cup is extremely tense. Yeah, the thing is, um, the games weren't easy, you know. Um, from our pool games, it was tough. Um, and then, of course, the quarterfinals, um, playing against the host team, you know, it was tough. Um, so uh, we, we had to be focused, you know, we had to know our job, first of all, mm. and then we had to perform. Um, I think all the teams were so close in the World Cup mm. that you couldn't slack in any department, you know. Um, so yeah, there was, it was stressful, especially sitting on the bench. Um, mm. You get sometimes nervous, but excited. Mm. It's better being on the field than sitting in the stands. Mm. But um, mm. yeah, I think we were all focused. We all bought into the plan and what our role in the team was. Um, and yeah, so that, Rusty and the coaching team took the, the stress and all the pressure away from us. We just had to go out and enjoy ourselves on the pitch. Oh, that's awesome, and you, you could see that. Um, I absolutely enjoyed watching the Bomb Squad. I wish the Bomb Squad beers were out back then, because <laughs> jeepers, that would have been something else, you know? <laughs> dangerous, <laughs> dangerous. Uh, hey, we might have been just cracking one on the bench, you know? So. <laughs> what are you looking forward to the rest of the year, um, Vince? Yeah, of course. Um, coming back from injury at the moment, um, which I picked up in the World Cup. Um, so I haven't played rugby, signed in South Africa at the Sharks. Grateful for the opportunity, but I haven't been contributing on the field, you know. Um, so back on the field very soon. Um, and then, so first of all, my first goal is just to play as well as I can for, for the Sharks. Yeah. Um, and, and then hopefully we'll be good enough to be in, in the plans for the Springbok setup. Uh, but the exciting times lying ahead, you know, uh, playing against people saying it's the world's best team at the moment, you know, Ooh. and um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be massive. Um, of course, we've got a, as reigning champions, we've got to prove to point as well, and they're coming to, to take the title away from us, you Ooh. know.
it's on home soil so uh south african team on home soil it's uh, something else something different you know yeah. uh, so yeah i think i think the plans that the coaching team will uh, have for us is going to be exciting and um, especially with the new coaches there as well uh, the, it's just going to be amazing you know we're yeah. going to be all we, we have to fight all cylinders and i think rossi and the coaching team will definitely do that for us trevor yangane is joining you guys yeah. i mean i can say that it's public yeah. knowledge now yeah. you know um looking forward to that yeah, the test in Durban is going to be amazing. The last one we had um, was also a sold out stadium. Mm. Um, so yeah, especially being part of the Sharks now, it's, it's a lovely place. Durban is unbelievable. It's like uh, Hawaii of South Africa, yeah. you know, <laughs> the weather is always good. Yeah. Um, so and the people love the rugby there, you know, um, mm. and they, they support us throughout the year as well the Sharks you know things haven't been going our way at the moment but you still see people rocking up so they love the game you know and and to host a test there is going to be unbelievable like I said the last time we played there it was unbelievable atmosphere um, and this time around again playing the second test against Ireland um, it's going to be massive. Mate Oh yeah, sorry, and Trevor. Yeah, I can't wait for him. <laughs> Our big man is coming back, you know. Thank um, you. Yeah, I can't wait for that. We're no. going to have good times together. No, fantastic, man. Thanks so much for sharing, um, Vince. Um, great catching up with you. All the best in Durban, all the best for the year ahead, some huge fixtures, and, and most importantly, all the best with your recovery, mate. I hope that it's a speedy recovery, and I hope that I only wish the best for you, bro. Thank you, brother. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers, Thank mate. Thank you.